What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, Redemption Day. I cannot live with uh, Arma's response to me about, hey, this is all we got. You're not going to get 30 miles per hour out of the car because it depends on conditions and whatnot. So, uh, I bought a couple parts which I believe are actually going to help this thing uh, go up to that 30 mile per hour mark. Uh, hopefully it works. I'm not exactly sure. So, you know, figuring everything out. Um, it's been a while since the last video. Uh, I do apologize for that. I have been uh, gathering a bunch of stuff. You might notice this guy here. And I recently got um, a 3D printer. And uh, I've just been going ham, learning how to do stuff and everything. And uh, I think you guys are going to like what I have planned with this guy right here. Also, I mean... When I say like I, I'm sucked in hard to the RC world guys, like I'm sucked in hard. I'll show you a little project that I have over here. It's a bit of a vintage guy. This one is from 1985. It's the Pepsi Promo Firebird made by Nyko. Looks pretty dope. Right now I have the, uh, the uh, splitters and whatnot taken off because uh, I'm going to work on it. But that'll be another video. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of stuff that I've been uh, collecting, working on, researching and stuff. And uh, obviously I'm paying for all this stuff out of pocket. So, um, you know, I got to wait for when the budget's right in order to get more stuff or whatever. Uh, but in the meantime, go back to the granite. All right, so I already went ahead, pulled out the uh, drive line and everything. If you want to see how to take this apart, you can check it out in one of my previous videos uh, to get to the spur gear assembly. So if you notice, I had to mess with this since the last speed run test. I still got the 28 tooth in there. Uh, so initially, my thought process was uh, swapping out the spur gear, the stock spur gear for this one, which is the 57 tooth uh, 0.8 mod. Um, what happened was that I got the gear while I was at the hobby shop I did notice that the teeth were more separated and I asked the guy there hey um, these aren't 48 pitch what, what pitch are they and uh, the guy responded very rudely and he was like that is 48 pitch so you know I'm not a professional so I don't want to keep questioning it so I was just like oh okay it must just be an optical illusion and I don't know what I'm talking about. But as you can clearly see, there's a huge difference between them. Also, if you notice that, the spur gear for the 0.8 mod is a lot bigger. So me trying to swap it out as a direct replacement, not gonna work out. So I ended up ordering Complete assembly off of Jenny RC. Uh, I will include uh, a link to all the parts in the description down below. That way you can see it. So this one's the complete assembly, and you can tell there, there's, you know, subtle differences here and there. Um, yeah, it, it's it's different. It's completely different. Even the adjuster nut in the back side. This one's got like a sleeve. Uh, so yeah, the original idea was definitely not going to work. Uh, on top of that, because I ended up uh, having to change out to what would be considered um, 32 pitch, uh, I had to buy new pinion gears. Uh, so I did buy a whole nother set, uh, include same thing, link in the description for all these, got these off of Amazon. Uh, that way it actually meshes correctly uh, obviously i'm not going to go through all of these the goal was just to uh see if i could just fine tune the one gear that's going to give us 30 miles per hour so go ahead and uh swap swap it in. so yeah i'll go ahead uh swap this all in and go give it a test
All right, guys, got a fully charged battery and GPS drawed out, ready to go. Let's see what it does. All right, guys, so we got a couple passes in and it looks like we got 22.5. We'll swap over to the next gear and see if we can make an improvement on this. All right, so the 32 pitch 22 is in. Only because of how hot the motor was getting, I uh, had to pull off the NTG uh, heatsink and fan. It's got the ProTec on there because it uh, flows more air than the stock NTG fan. So hopefully this uh, helps the motor not blow up. I'm trying to do this run real quick. But uh, yep, ready to go. All right, this is it. Uh, it's a little noisy now because of the fan. <laughs> That's how much air it's pushing, but hopefully lets the motor survive. And uh, we'll see what happens. Got the other camera going. And yeah, that was me literally just walking outside. Blistering speed of 1.8 miles per hour. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that uh, the ESC is probably really hot. I was able to do one lap, just one pull. The 25.5, uh, so so, it's not that great. Did better before. Luckily, the fan's on there, so yeah, it shouldn't. Uh, See, the motor went out or the ESC. It's just uh, overheated. We'll see which one it is right now. Take it upstairs. All right. Ah, another fail, another fail. And along with that brushless upgrade, we are gonna do a fresh new body. What do you guys think? Set up in it, new body. Now, let's get to that 30 miles per hour. Let's do it. All right, so right out of the box, motor with 13 uh, tooth pinion, we got 28.8. Pretty sure we step up to the next one, we're easily in our 30 miles per hour. This thing's doing this thing flawlessly. I wish I had my camera mount, I gotta build something for this because I don't wanna poke holes into this body. Uh, but I'll probably 3D print something to mount on these holes so I can have my camera mounted back here. Then I could take you guys on for the road, but dude, this thing is torquey. <laughs> Alright, so a 13 tooth, 28.8 miles per hour. Uh, I checked online, and it looks like the stock gearing for BLX is a 15 tooth, which I just put in there. So let's go back outside and hit that 30 mile per hour mark. Alright, back outside. We got that 15 tooth in there, which should be the stock gearing with this motor setup. All zeroed out, and we'll do some runs now. Definitely torqueier. <laughs> Look at that, guys! So that is how you get 30 miles per hour out of your Armor Granite. You just have to swap it over to a brushless system. There's no other way. Those 550 motors, they just can't take it. There it is, 32.9. This thing is doing it so easily without even trying. It's so cold outside. I'm 